Hi guys, how are you Welcome back to another one of my videos. This video has been requested by so many people, so I've decided that I'm gonna sit down, take this into my own hands, and I'm gonna talk you through how to travel for cheap. As you guys know, I love to travel, I love to go to different countries, and recently I've just been to Greece, I've been to France, I've been to Wales. I'm not earning a lot of money, but I'm still going on adventures and doing the best things, but for really cheap, and I'm gonna tell you today some hacks, some top tips on how to do these for really cheap, because so many of you always message me on Instagram, and you always ask me, like, how are you traveling so much? How can you afford this all the time? Like. I don't spend that much money and I'm going to tell you how. Once you know the little tips and tricks on how to do these things a little bit cheaper, then it will help you and it will mean you guys can travel more as well. I'm going to start from the beginning. So if you're going to go away or anywhere, you need to get a flight. The cheapest way to fly is always going to be Ryanair. This video is not sponsored by any companies or anything, so I'm just going to shout out some companies that help, you know? The cheapest company to fly with is always going to be Ryanair and basically... You can literally fly for like five pounds to different countries. It's not gonna be the most luxury, nicest flight you've ever been on, but it's a flight. It gets you from A to B. So what you have to do is go onto the Ryanair website and literally type in Ryanair cheap flights and you will get a list of flights to countries all around Europe starting at like five pounds and they normally go up to about 20 pounds, 20, 30 pounds and they're really cheap and easy flights so Book yourself on one of them and it will literally save you so much money. And the next thing literally leading on from flights, a lot of people go to travel agents and think that you have to book trips through companies, right? Massive life hack, those companies are going to take a cut. Sometimes a package holiday, if you're after something a bit nicer, a package holiday will do you good and you will save a bit of money. But if you want to just travel and explore, realise that you don't need these like package holidays or anything to get you through, do it all yourself and you will literally save yourself money. Once you've basically got your flight from your Ryanair company, look at like apartments, Airbnbs are great. Also, and then that, the next thing, that brings me on to hostels. I've had people message me and they're like saying, oh, I want to travel by myself, but I don't want to be lonely and I want to make friends and stuff. And I was like, right, the best thing to do is literally travel in hostels. They're so cheap. And they're all of, you have hostels all around the world as well, so it doesn't just have to be when you're going to like Asia and stuff, you can literally go to hostels anywhere. Even in your hometown, there will be hostels. The best way to find these hostels is to download an app called Hostel World. It's the app called Hostel World, and literally, you can type in any place in the world, wherever you are, or even just put your location in, and it will tell you all the hostels near and around you at the time. If you're gonna be in places like Asia and countries like that, the hostels will literally be like two to five pounds a night, which is crazy for some really nice places. Like, I stayed in a really nice hostel, it literally cost me like three pounds a night or something, which is crazy, and that included breakfast. Like, if you're wanting to travel solo, then I recommend getting a shared dorm. It doesn't have to be that many people, and you can get dorms with the same sex as well. But I would just recommend getting yourself into one of them so you can mix other people and you can talk to people, find out where you're going, find out where they're going, and then also it'll help with your travels as well because it means you can explore different places. But yeah, like I said, Hostel World is such a good app to download if you want to go traveling or if you're going anywhere in the country because you just put, pop in your location and it'll bring up the nearest hostel. It'll also help if you get somewhere and you just want to explore but you don't know where the hell to start or where to even go. Find yourself a hostel near where you are and then that's when you can start to meet people, then plan the rest of your journey and just go with the flow. Okay, so the next tip that I have, which also helped me out loads, helped me out loads when traveling, is actual travel when you get there. So a lot of people think that when you get to different places, you have to pay a lot of money for maybe like transfers and buses and stuff to get you to places. Also, people pay lots of money on like taxis and that. There is other ways around this. You don't have to order taxis and trains and expensive things like that. Something that really, really helped me to get around whilst traveling was the app called Rome to Rio. So this app is really good. Basically, you put your location in and you put in where you want to go and it will literally tell you the quickest, the cheapest and the easiest way to get to that place. It will add in buses, trains, it will add in all public transport and it will literally tell you the cheapest way to do it as well. So basically, for instance, if I put in like London to Manchester, then it will literally give me all the options of how to get there, like the buses, trains, public transport, car shares, everything. And obviously in England it looks like quite a lot, but when you're when you're abroad and stuff, 
things are cheaper anyway and in other countries to so say if one day you wanted to head down to the beach and you were at a hostel in the middle of the city you didn't know how to get there literally on that app chuck in the hostel that you're at and the beach that you want to get to and it will literally tell you where the local bus stop is it will show you walking directions to the bus stop how much the bus is going to be the number of the bus that you need to take and what time the bus is going to leave like honestly that app is so good if you're in a different country getting around is not going to be known to you you're not going to know how to like get the local bus as you don't really know the area very well so that app really helps really shows you how to get from a to b the quickest the cheapest and the easiest way which is what we want if we're traveling on a budget another thing which I thought really helped as well whilst I was traveling in Asia try and find the country's version of uber because a lot of countries have uber but sometimes it's under a different name or like it's a similar kind of thing but it's under a different name so when I was in Asia particularly I found out a brand called grab car and grab car is basically like uber the one they have in Asia and honestly it was so cheap like I think it cost me like 15 pounds in a grab car which is a completely air-conditioned taxi really nice and that was for like maybe a two-hour journey to get me back to the airport which was so good so look for like the so do a bit of research find out what the country's version of uber is and if you're in asia or anywhere like that try for grab car because i know that's really good and it's really cheap and then the next point of what i'm going to say is if you want to get around anywhere if you can always walk because walking for one is cheap it's going to save you a lot of money on transport the second thing is if you're out traveling right you're there for the adventure and you want to see what's around you and when you're walking around it literally says it makes you know of your surroundings and you get to see things maybe you wouldn't have seen in a taxi it means you could stop off places and like have little ventures on the way walking is great exercise anyway and it's a great way to find new things like things you didn't expect to find obviously it's completely free so always walk if you can okay so the next thing that i would say for traveling the things that you do when you're away so before you go away you can decide what kind of trip you want you can go away and you can go and you can go and splash out the money on cocktails boats everything like that it's okay to want to do the luxury things like that and have fun whilst you're doing it like spend a bit of money on those sort of things why not but if you did want to do it cheaper there is always a way of doing things cheaper and still traveling and going to do fun things so basically there is so many activities and fun things you can do for free whilst you're traveling it doesn't have to be money related first of all the tips i would say is literally like beaches caves swimming in the sea even even hiring out like a surfboard for the day you can get them for so cheap and that's literally a whole day's activity because the sea is free the beach is going to be free everywhere we go also as well if you do want to do it cheaper i found when being a lot being in a lot of places if you want to hire out boats or water sports anything like that try and walk further down the other end of the beach where it's not as many people because they will do you a deal because they don't have many customers in They'll always do it for cheaper. When we were in Greece recently, we got things for cheaper by walking down the far ends where they don't get as many customers and they're always so much more happy to have you and helping out the local people who don't get as many customers in. So it's always better to walk down, walk away from the touristy parts and you always find better deals. Making days out of the nature and what's around you and exploring things is like such a good way to do things for cheap. And literally like even just Google it, like where natural parks, waterfalls, caves beaches like even if you have to travel a little, a little bit further to get to them you know how to do it for even cheaper now so do it it's worth spending a bit of money to travel to places if you're going to see something where it's not all built up and it's not just tourists and normally these things are free as well you don't normally have to pay and it's always worth doing it but if it's raining like it was for us when we were in wales recently just go out and swim in the sea in the rain make the most of what's around you like always make the most of what's around you because it's all about the mindset you go in with it as well like just enjoy it whilst you're there so yeah just if it's raining go swim in the rain dance in the rain so the next few tips is things that we do but i know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea i'd recommend doing at least once in your life sleeping in hammocks right so this is what we done recently we went to france we just took hammocks and we literally hang hammocked up a lot of people don't think about doing this at all and camping is always going to be the cheap option then getting yourself a hotel if there's no hostels about because there's some places like france there was no hostels the hostels weren't really a thing there and if they were they were so expensive and booked up so we decided to bring our hammocks along and hammocking makes traveling so much easier because you're not set in any one location so you can literally move about wherever you want because you're always going to have your your setup with you and you can move around and you're not, you're not limited to where you can go you actually feel so much more free when you're traveling because you're not limited to where you go so hammocking up is really good find little spots who gets to wake up on the beach in, to watch the sunrise in a hammock like 
it's just it's just like such a crazy experience to do just do it while you can and it's completely free and the last thing that i'm going to say which really helped whilst traveling as well to do with money and everything is get yourself a starling card i have a starling card on a revolut but i found that starling's better because it's free it's completely free like you don't even have to pay for the card to come itself you just sign up and it comes to your house you can basically transfer money into that account and then you can use that card wherever you are in the world and it doesn't take a fee so you can just use it in shops as normal and it will transfer the money straight from your bank to the currency and it won't charge a transaction fee either and you won't lose any money Try and get like a styling card or whatever and it really help with travelling when you're travelling around and you want to get out money or you want to pay for something and it's nice and easy and it means you don't have to have cash on you all the time. That is all my travel tips I can kind of think of for now and I hope this answers a few questions to the people who say to me how do you always travel like so much and how do you have the money to do that? That was a few of my tips on how I do it for a little bit cheaper than maybe the average person. Also guys, I'm so nearly at 2k subscribers and when I get to 2k I'm going to do a massive giveaway. So please subscribe, honestly we're so close right now, really make my day so please can you subscribe and yeah more sick videos to come. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos just like this and I will see you in the next video. Bye!